What's up everybody, Patrick here. Welcome back, moving on to another question. This question is more so like a thinking slash communication type of question. So explain why 5x to the power of 6 plus 3x to the power of 4 plus 7x squared plus 2 equals 0 has no real solutions. Well, notice that this is a polynomial equation. It has this equal sign here. And notice how everything is already brought to one side because the right side is equal to zero. And notice that in this polynomial function on the left side, all of the x's are to the power of an even number. So we have this x to the six, we have this x to the four, and then this x squared, and then we have this constant plus two. Well, let's just focus on these x variables here. Notice that for these x variables, no matter what number you plug in, these will always be positive, right? Because if we plug in negative one for x, well, negative one to the power of six gives us positive one. Or let's say we plug in negative two here for x, well, negative two to the power of four gives us positive 16. Then negative two to the power of six would give us positive 64. And then any positive numbers we plug in for x, all of these will be positive, obviously. So no matter if we plug in a negative or a positive, these <coughs> will always be positive. So because this will be positive, let's actually just put a positive sign. This will always be positive. This will always be positive. Well, if we multiply this by 5, then this whole term is going to be positive. If we multiply this by positive 3, like we're doing up here, that whole term will be positive. Then if we multiply this by 7, positive 7, this whole term will be positive as well. So we're basically adding up three positive numbers all the time, and then we're adding another positive number, two. So that means that this whole expression is always going to be positive, and a positive number can never equal zero. So no matter what x values we plug in, this left side will always be positive. Now what if we plug in an x value of zero? Well, if we plug in an x value of zero, this will go to zero, this will go to zero, and then this will go to zero, and then we'll just be left with this constant two. And notice two can't equal zero. So x equals zero is not a solution either. So whether we plug in positive values for x, negative values for x, or an x value of zero, this left side is always going to be positive, and a positive number can never equal zero. Hence why this polynomial equation has no real solutions.